Vi er klart til opptak. Flaffer? Playing detective. How quick. I can assure you that I can get to the bottom of this. I never saw professional fee. Murder, missing treasure, ghost. Nine lives this one. Hello everybody, my name's James Wren. I'm the festival director of Unrestricted View Film Festivals. And today we are joined by James Weber, who is the writer and director of Sorority, which is one of our opening day films. Um, hi James, how are you doing? Hello there, you all right? Yeah, thank you. Um, how have you found lockdown as a filmmaker? Uh, has that been sort of difficult? Uh, yes and no. Um, it's been difficult because I haven't been able to shoot as much as uh, you would do normally. And it's, you know, when you're a freelancer, that's, you know, challenging. Um, it's been quite good in regards to my feature sorority because We'd actually finished shooting the film before the first lockdown hit last year. So it actually gave us a little bit more time, although we were all sort of working remotely on the film, we we got it to work quite well. Mm. And it sort of gave us more time to sort of just just push push as much as possible into getting the edit right. I think it sort of gave us an extra month or so to play with um, because of certain delays um, and I, I sort of at first I was a little bit sort of gutted about it because I like to be in the room you know you want to sort of work with people next to you and work at the speed of thought not having to connect via zoom as nice as zoom connections are um it's nice to be in the room but because I worked with a lot of those people before it was actually quite seamless and not as much of a, a as a headache as I thought it would be um so that that was quite good um having said that I'm pretty excited about things returning to normal at some point <laughs> yeah, exactly. as, as we all are i'm sure absolutely absolutely so um where did the idea for, for sorority come from the idea for sorority uh, it probably goes back many years i had written a comedy about two sisters who were complete opposites and didn't get along and somewhere along the line and it, and we're talking like well over 10 years ago and it was meant to be a short and I think I wrote it down and there were so many ideas in there and it, it just wasn't feasible for a short film so I thought well why don't I try and do it as a feature and then I don't know if my taste in cinema changed, just started getting a little bit more serious and a bit more in depth. And the idea just sort of evolved over time. Um, and then I ended up making kind of a short film about the idea um, called Soror a few years ago, um, which also had Kate Dickey in. And that was kind of like the short version to see, you know, how it worked and to sort of experiment and and uh and, and play around with the with the idea um it's weird because usually shorts usually come first you make a short and think well i'm going to expand it into a feature it was sort of the other way around i took a feature and put it into a short right. and then it became the feature <laughs> so it was a bit of a weird way of doing it um yeah so the characters have been sort of knocking around in my head for quite a long time almost to the point where they feel like kind of bizarre family members of mine 
like I know them quite well. Um, so yeah, it's been, um, it's definitely been kind of a journey um, in, in bringing the film to life. Fantastic. Um, yeah, you mentioned Kate Dickey there, so I was gonna ask, have you worked with any of the cast and crew before? Is this, um, it's obviously Kate you have. Um, yeah, uh, I, I really wanted a different cast from the short. Like we had a great cast for the short as well, like Jean Brecken and Rosie Day, who's a, who's a brilliant up and coming actress. Um, but I, I was convinced that I wanted, certainly for the sisters at least, new actors to sort of do their own, sort of make the characters their own. Um, I was working with Sophie Kennedy Clark on a different film um, that ended up not happening. Um, quite late on in the process and we really wanted to work together and I was like why don't we just make a film together because Sophie's one of the producers as well and that's really how she sort of became involved in the process we found Emily through auditions um, although I had sort of known of her because um, because we, we had talked on social media occasionally but she she was so fantastic in the auditions and sort of blew us away um, I wanted to bring Kate Dickey back she's just the best to work with and um, it was quite nice because her character so so expanded in the feature and is kind of a different character in some ways um, so it was nice for her to sort of evolve with the project and then kind of our male lead Sam Gittins I've worked with him tons of times on you know a bunch of shorts and different things so um, it really wouldn't have been right to make a film without him in there somewhere. He's, he's such a great actor and, you know, a good friend. Right, yeah, because I noticed, was it Driftwood? I was yes. Thinking, I, was, I was, yes, sort of looking down your IMDb page just, you know, to see what else you had done. But um, yeah. That was his uh, first credit. Yeah, that was Sam's first credit back in uh, 2012, I think we shot that. God. Um, so, yeah, I, I think he's sort of... I think there's some sort of unwritten rule if you give someone their first IMDb credit you, they have to work with you for the rest of you know we're, we're sort of bound now um there's no you know I'm sure he wants to work with other people and I want to work with other people but we can't because you know we've, we've got this uh, bond of the first IMDb credit <laughs> fantastic um uh now you know again looking down IMDb I noticed that you, you very much seem to write and direct your own stuff um have you have you done much of sort of any other people's writing or is it or is it you know that that the thing you want to do is direct your own writing um i i have directed other people's uh like screenplays uh and i'm not i'm not against it um mainly in comedy i've done i've worked with a lot of kind of uh other screenwriters um but um yeah, I, I think it's quite nice to sort of mix it up, but I am probably primarily, you know, I, I do write my own material. Um, and it's uh, it's something that, you know, I enjoy. It's, it's quite nice sort of visualizing a project as, as you're actually writing the words. And it's, that's kind of a part of the, the whole process that I really enjoy. Um, Having said that, you know, I'm not averse to working, you know, with with screenwriters. And in fact, I'd probably love to do that next, you know, and have someone else's uh, words and sort of uh, I see it as a little bit of a challenge because you haven't sort of necessarily got the the inside knowledge on a character or or a setting or, or the story. You have to sort of discover it for yourself as simply a director. And that's that's is for the most part, not something I've had to do too much of. Yeah. Um, so who knows, who knows? Yeah, and what's next for Sorority? Um, um, so Sorority has, uh, it's, it's done a few festivals now. Um, there might be a few more screenings, but we're looking, uh, we're talking to sales agents at the moment and getting the film sort of out there on a, on a wider release. So, so that's really the, the next step for the film. Fantastic, and what's next for you? Um, I'm, I've got two things in the works, two other features. Um, one is kind of a, a large uh, horror thriller that's just been optioned by a production company. So, um, yeah, that one's really exciting. Um, it's very different than sorority, um, very dark and a different genre, really. Um, so that one's quite cool. Um, and then I've got 
another project which I'm uh, making with some of the guys from Sorority, which is uh, kind of a horror thriller. Um, and we we started the process of that and sort of looking at financing. So that that will probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, be the next one. Um, but once again, it's it's quite different in terms of content compared to sorority. Um, so I think anyone who sort of has seen sorority and then watches that may be a little bit kind of shocked, I guess, um, sort of the change of direction. But um, I've always been interested in lots of different things. You know, I, I wouldn't want to be pegged into making just one genre for the rest of my life. So um, I think it's nice to to do a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think that's great. And I've got one last question, which everyone hates. Um, so uh, who is your favorite director? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's an expansive question. Yeah. Um, it's almost impossible to sort of give kind of a, a singular answer for that. I know there are directors who have made huge uh, impacts in me. Um, obviously, growing up in the 80s, you know, everything was Spielberg and Star Wars and, you know, all the usual suspects. And then, uh, you know, when I was old enough, Scorsese. And um, I, I think as, as sort of a more, as, as an adult filmmaker, um, big moment for me is I went to, when I started film school, they did um, like a free preview a couple of months before it was released of Terence Malick's The Thin Red Line. And it blew my mind. I couldn't quite comprehend. It was almost a bit too much. And it's almost, it's a film I've watched probably every year on the dot since uh, seeing it back in, what was that, 99, maybe. Um, and, I just just find it just an incredible piece of work, and uh, it's definitely had a, a, an influence on me. Um, I love Andrea Arnold as well. I think she's just one of the best uh, British filmmakers. I think she's just wonderful. And of course, Kate was Kate Dickey was the star of her first feature, Red Road, which she won a BAFTA for. Um, so, you know, it's uh, she, she's someone I, I, I admire hugely. There are so many filmmakers. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> question isn't it but it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's like if you're into food you know yeah. some people have their favorite dish but they usually like quite a broad range of stuff and it's very difficult to say you know quite often it's seasonal you know who's your favorite filmmaker at the moment and you know it's it's constantly changing um but the thin red line that was a big one for me terence malick in in particular i haven't loved all his films since i like tree of life but some of the other films are kind of like I don't know, two hour shots of people walking, admittedly in some very beautiful places. But um, yeah, my, my wife uh, went and saw To the Wonder with me and uh, I don't think she's forgiven me even now. In fact, we talked about it the other day. We saw it a few years ago when it came out and she was like, that was the closest I've come to walking out of a film. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, there's been some interesting discussions in this house about uh, about Terence Malick, but, um, but yeah, I, I I would say that that is a an experience sticking out in my head. Um, and Jurassic Park on opening night when I was a kid, wow, what what a what what an evening that was. I just uh, the Spielberg at the very top of his game. Yeah, so good. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us, James. Um... No problem. Uh, so everyone knows um, we can. You can watch Sorority on Monday, April the twenty-sixth. Tickets are available at unrestrictedview.co.uk or uvff.co.uk. You can buy tickets through either. And now we're going to have a little look at the trailer. But uh, thanks very much, James, for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Big day. Big day. I want you to know that whatever happens, we're going to celebrate. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. So last day today. Where are you going? Uh, up to Manchester. Oh, wow. Everything's changing. Change isn't always a bad thing. I'm excited. And I'm sick of doing things for other people. You need to come and join the real world with the rest of us. You mess with one of us. 
my super spouse. She's our mum. Yeah, I know, but she's a bitch. Well, you mucked me about. It was, it was a cruel thing to do. You'll never change. You only ever think about yourself. Why change that now? And I'm sick of being in the middle of both of you. I think we need a new start.